When I was a boy in Devon, there was this bakery around the corner. There's nothing better as a bready treat or a picnic than sticky, tasty ice fingers. <laughs> I am obsessed with bread. There's nothing quite like getting that perfect loaf. Now the great news is, ice fingers are really easy to make. All you'll need is 300 grams of bread flour, seven grams of easy bake yeast, five grams of salt, 50 ml of milk, 50 ml of water, and one teaspoon of vanilla extract. Now get the good vanilla. Don't get the essence stuff, it's not as nice. First thing we need to do is mix our wet ingredients. Take yourself a jug or a bowl or anything you want, put in your milk. Add to the milk your 50 ml of water. Take your vanilla extract and add it to the milk and water. Stir in there. There's something about vanilla and milk, I don't know what it is, it's a lovely, lovely mixture. It's like, almost smells like a, a milkshake of some sort, you know? Oh, reminds me of walks in the countryside, it's fantastic. Then mix your dry ingredients. Take your flour, add it to a bowl. Add in your yeast. There we go. Make sure you give it a good stir before you add the salt. There we go. Give that a stir in. Then simply just add your milk mixture to the flour. Not much to look at at the moment, just a puddle with dots in it. Right, it will be quite sticky at this stage. And if you struggle to bring it together as a dough, just add a little bit more flour until it starts to come together. Oh, it smells like you know, a lovely dough smell, but the heat of vanilla in it, lovely. Whack it onto your table. Right, move this out of the way for you. And give it a good work. Don't worry if it sticks to the table, that's fine. Oh, I still haven't got around to oiling this table yet. <laughs> the best way to approach all these recipes is a little bit of trial and error. Depending on the type of flour you get, the moisture will be absorbed slightly differently. So you might find that if you follow a recipe to a tea, that it comes out a bit too sticky, or it comes out a bit too dry. Just use your common sense. These things are brilliant when you're making sticky doughs. Just pull them off the table, nice and easy. There we go. Look, it's starting to get elastic, you see? Now there's a reason why we want it smooth and silky. We're only gonna do one proof with this. We want the dough to be slightly tighter and a bit more cake-like, so we don't wanna overproof it. So we're gonna go straight from here into our ice finger shapes. I think that is smooth and springy enough. Now this dough is probably enough for about four ice fingers. They're good size ice fingers. So we want to cut it into quarters. Two, three, four. We want them about oh, just smaller than a tennis ball size. Turn it into a ball shape again. Then give it a little bit of a roll. There we go. Sort of ice fingery shape. Imagine that with an ice finger with icing on top. Perfect. Don't forget to tension each one of these as well. So push your fingers underneath, fold it over into half, just slightly folding it. Okay, there we go. Now you'll notice I'm using a flat baking tray, not an undulated one for like baguettes or anything. I want the bottom of these buns to actually be flat. Right, remember to make sure you leave enough space on the tray for them to rise, because that yeast is gonna get going and they're gonna get bigger. There we go. Our finger bread roll dough ready to rise. Now we're going to let these proof for a little while so they get big and fluffy on the inside. We're going to leave those for about 35 minutes. While they're proving, go and preheat your oven. You want it at 180 degrees, so not too hot. I'm going to attempt to be more tidy. If at first you don't succeed, probably wasn't worth doing in the first place. They are looking good. Right, we're not gonna mess around. We're gonna chuck these straight in the oven and cook them for about 20 to 25 minutes. Keep an eye on them so they don't go too brown. Right, and ice fingers would not be ice fingers without the icing. What I've got here is 100 grams of sifted icing sugar and two teaspoons of water. 
Now I'm going to mix these together. What you want is quite a thick icing. You don't want it running, you want it just gloopy enough to spread. Now you can of course add all kinds of colour to this. Right, all we've got to do now is wait for our buns to come out, let them cool, and then add our icing. And there you have it. Beautiful, tasty, sticky, sweet ice fingers.